Aloha, this is Jonathan, and I'm doing an unboxing of the Marchetti Tarot. Um, just want to welcome all my new subscribers, and I'm going to be very happy to open this. This is the first one I bought directly from him that's not a mass market version. And I got this extra card in the package with his signature, so I'm definitely going to add that to the box once I get it open. Um, let's see, where's the best spot to start cutting? Here we go. I love these little scissors. I really wish I could find my seam ripper. That is the way to get into these boxes. I've been told by numerous other tarot people, but these little scissors work for now. Ooh, that's a luxurious box for sure. With the matte finish. No barcodes. No nothing. The Marchetti Tarot. Which I would directly from his website. So, design. Chiro Marchetti, text Lee Burstyn. Got a, it's, it's like a mag, one of those bigger magnetic boxes, but it's just the right size. Here's the... And this did not come with a physical book, um, but it did have a download on the website to get a PDF book. I love that fool image in here. Got this nice ribbon. Put that off to the side for now. Again, I need to find, oh my god, look at that, the sides. Okay, let's get in here so you can see it in person already. Oh. There we go, that's all that we need, and then I should be able to get in. Wow, I love the purple sides. That gilding is gorgeous. Be a little sticky taking them apart, but that's okay. That's what gilding does, right? Amazing. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that that is the backs. Yep. Pretty, I mean, I would, it's, it's kind of glossy, but it's not too bad. And you can, it, the cards are thick enough you can still see that purple sheen, which uh, this is amazing cardstock, I must say. So here we have the Fool. I love that he's holding a Marseille Fool. Here we have the Magician. Hand of Magic. I love that it's an older man instead of, you know, the typical young man. It takes a lifetime to master magic. But, yeah, I can really see that gilding on there. Again, High Priestess is also more elderly than you're used to seeing. That's uh, gorgeous. What's it say on our scroll? Not even sure. <laughs> oh, CM on the book. I love there's an owl there and an owl flying in. And the crown of Candles is amazing. So with this deck, 
the images are just, it's mainly like centered around a figure. Like here we have the Empress with like the Mother Nature vibe with like all the flora and fauna coming out of her hair and part as her hair I should say. So she's cupping the earth in her palm. Get like the starscapes around her. Mother Earth vibe for sure here. Emperor. <laughs> Very Roman vibes for that. Instead of a crown, he's got the golden laurels. There's the CM again. Good way of sneaking your signature in, huh? There's the Hierophant, very Christian, but it is also known as the Pope. Here we have the lovers on stage. I wonder if it's supposed to be Romeo and Juliet. You must try and sneak a CM in all his images. <laughs> Chariot. See the horses up here. Again, a very Roman. I love this strength card. She's kind of like a shaman. An elderly, or middle-aged, I guess. Got the wolf skin. The wolf skull. She's just petting the lion who's standing there calmly. They have the same look. That's amazing. I'll have to look through that PDF I downloaded to see what he has to say about these. Here we have the hermit. And like you see an elderly face in the lantern itself and he's carrying it, but then you also see him walking. I really like that hermit card. I love imagery that I can just get myself lost in. The wheel. Uh, monkey going down, rabbit coming up, and lion on top. That's pretty cool. And it's also kind of like the solar system at the same time. You definitely get all of the zodiac signs in there, which is really cool. Clump that just needs to get. It's one thing about gilding, it tends to get sticky, especially when you're very first opening. Justice. She's wearing the courthouse as a crown almost. And for those of you new to Tarot, <clears throat> excuse me, new to Tarot, the Justice cards usually holding the Ace of Swords. Here we have <clears throat> Hanging Man instead of the Hanged Man. That looks like his wrists are tied behind his back. Almost looks like a uh, a 
acrobat, circus performer of some kind. And it's interesting too that the tree has a face hanging upside down as well. Looks like he's puckering up for a kiss though. <laughs> image here we have temperance with the fire and the water it's a beautiful temperance it's almost like she's was a statue and is turning into a live angel. It's an intense devil card. Offering you the key for the key to what? Looks like there's chains attached. And the key is on fire. <laughs> well, that's interesting. So here we have the devil. And the next card is the tower. It's almost the same face. See, yeah. Not exactly the same, but really similar. Here's the tower. Lightning striking. You don't get the typical figure falling though, but that's still a powerful image. A little explosion going on where the lightning hit. The star, sprinkling stardust, and then there's Dove of Peace. And she's like a celestial being. Here we have the moon. Instead of a crayfish, it looks like a crab here. And then looks like Mother Mary and Child, and then get the wolf and the dog. Eyes closed. Here we have the sun, <laughs> with the sun king. That's a powerful sun. Here we have Judgment. Wow. Hand grasping the pelt pull up, rising from the grave. Here we have the world. Instead of in the corners, we have them around her head. She's still got the two wands. And the wreath is her hair, which is also a nebula, it looks like. It's a potent image. There's the CM.
Here we have the Ace of Coins. I love this Ace of Coins. Got an owl and a squirrel and a beetle and a fox. Here we have the two of coins. Oh. Took me a second to realize that that tree was balancing on a ballerina foot. And it's all about balance, right? It's a very abstract yet detailed way of looking at it. <laughs> I just noticed. Yeah. Here we have the three of coins. The three coins are laid out on the floor. Now there's hammer and chisel at work to create this amazing I, don't know, I was gonna say house, but it almost looks like a church or I'm not even sure beautiful. Who wouldn't want to live somewhere like that? Here we have the four of coins with the lockbox. Uh, CM. He's reaching through the painting to grab at his coins. This is a powerful take on the five. Just looking in on a snowy day into it looks like a warm kitchen with fruits and bread and cranberries maybe. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Powerful. Here we have the six. Looks like a wooden hand offering coins. I'm not sure what this clock face is. I'm just going to have to read the book a little bit just to figure out what his symbology is. Not that I, you know, can't just read it with my usual background, but CM. Here's the seven of coins. Stitta bello. Eight of coins. <laughs> Just a cog in the machine. Nine. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's an amazing nine of coins. Ten of coins. Magpie. Sorry about that. My uh, camera memory got filled there. But um, I think we were on ten of coins. Magpie with all these it's like stolen coins in the tree. Here we have the page. Very floral, holding a bunny. And knight, K-N for knight, obviously, because they just do the initial, not the full name. Celtic not work all around. Actually very Celtic. <laughs> CM right there. Sometimes it's not hard to find the CM. <laughs> Queen of coins. Looks very regal. K 
king of coins. I love how the coins have these fall leaf crowns. And then you see him sitting in his throne here. Amazing Ace of Cups. So many details in all of these. Two of Cups. Hands intertwined. Eyes looking through the cups. I love this wave. You know, I love overtakes you like a wave. Three of Cups. Mermaid dancing, I guess. Here comes another wave. <laughs> Four of Cups. Oh, cool. Asian guy. He's just sitting there contemplating, looking at this cup off in the distance, and there's a little frog. <laughs> Here we have the five. Only one broken glass, but she's obviously got a lot more weighing on her brain. <laughs> Dark stormy clouds behind her. Six of Cups, Childhood Memory. Oh, God. there's Aladdin. That's sweet. And what's she looking at? Oh, Book of Fairy Tales. That's the unicorn. It's a very sweet. Oh, the unicorn is there, I see. Childhood Memories, right? Seven of Cups, all those different choices. Eight of Cups. Looks like a merman following a mechanical jellyfish. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to read up on that one. That's an interesting image there. Nine of Cups. Oh, contentment for sure. Nothing more content than a dog asleep on a chair. <laughs> And the Ten of Cups. A very happy dolphin family. And a beautiful sunset. So you still get that rainbow effect. It's a beautiful image. Here we have the Page of Cups. No fish in the cup, but surrounded by jellyfish, so... I guess there's kind of like a fish-like motif on the crown. Knight of Cups. All about seahorses. I love it. I think this armor looks like seahorse. 
Looks like he's got scales too. Interesting. The merfolk are the people of cups. Queen of cups. She's gorgeous. I love that there's a lot of diversity in this deck. I mean, a lot of diversity in this world, so why shouldn't our decks reflect that? And the King of Cups, which looks like there's an empty throne there. That's interesting. Oh no, he's sitting in it. It's just hard to see. And he's got an octopus on his head. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be part of the crown, but... Like, ooh, that much... <laughs> How much octopus tentacles must not be that comfy? Here we have the Ace of Swords. Oh wow, it's a katana. I love this dragonfly. Two of Swords. Better hurry up so I have time for Two more decks I'm supposed to film, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space on my computer on my camera. Three of swords. I love the fact that this three of swords doesn't have like swords impaling a heart or impaling someone. You just see someone in grief. Remembering a lost love. Six of swords. She's rowing herself. Kiana. Cat's trying to get up on the table. Oh, wow. Seven of Swords. Did I miss? No, I didn't miss any. That's gorgeous. Oh, wow. Some of the swords are the feathers sticking out. Eight of Swords. Instead of being blindfolded, her eyes are closed. Uh, CM. Nine of Swords. Peeking out from behind her pillow. Ten of Swords. Page of oh, the peacocks. <laughs> Peacock feathers, I should say. By the Startling Jay. Or Blue Jay. Not sure what all the birds are. Knight of Swords. Got like a hawk helmet and winged armor. That's cool. Definitely get that. Oh, this is from the cover. Oh, there's different elements. Different background on here. That's interesting. going on here? Where's the king? Didn't I already... different take on the Five of Swords. Hmm. The 
claws are the swords. And then we get to the king. I was a little confused there. I thought we were missing some. They were just misplaced, that's all. And we go into our wands now. Some gorgeous H of wands. <laughs> I love how Chio is able to sneak his CM in in pretty much every card. I haven't really been looking that hard, but it's definitely interesting. Oh, that's a great two of wands. Which one is he gonna grab? Choices, choices. Sun or moon? Stay or go? Three of Wands. <laughs> He's wearing a ship for a hat. That's funny. Four of Wands. Celebrating new life. Yeah, five of Wands. Lots of anger. The CM is very obvious in this one. <laughs> Six of Wands. That's a subtle way of talking about victory with the Colosseum behind. And then you see the Wands as part of the Colosseum. It's a nice touch, actually. I do appreciate that. Seven of Wands. Uh huh. Dragon. Holding his heart against the invaders coming to steal. Eight of Wands. Definitely gets this feeling of push. Uh, and there's the CM. Nine of Wands. Although the injury is turned into the celestial sigil. And there's the sea. Yeah. Ten. Page. Night. Queen. Although there she had the tiny dragon clutching to her wand. That's cool. And the last card is the King of Wands. I love that all the kings have them like in silhouette on their throne. C M. So that is the Marchetti Tarot. And uh, like just one more time, look at that purple. I don't even know if the camera is going to catch it. It's just, it's gorgeous. Have you ordered this one? Do you know about this one? Are you even interested? I know a lot of people have been buying the um, Encore from his website, but I have so many of his decks, I just didn't really feel like buying another version of some of the stuff I already got, I guess. I don't know. That's my only excuse. Well, that and I, I like stuff that's new. Something that I don't already have multiple copies of. Not multiple. I don't have multiple copies. But I don't want a deck, the Encore, that is like pulled from multiple 
effects that I already have. So, what do you think? Are you thinking about ordering it? Do you have it? Do you use it? Please let me know in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you. Until next time, thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, and aloha.